Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, Rams. How are you, my loves? I hope all has been well, Aries. I hope you've been taking care of yourself, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Aries, as it take care of you. Ashe, welcome back, my loves. Have a seat. Come on in. Get comfortable, my loves. We're going to see what messages, source, angels, and your ancestors have for you in regards to love, my love. Shout out to the Evolving Spirit. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your comments, your love, your likes, and your shares. I appreciate you, Evolving Spirits. If you would love to become an Evolving Spirit like I myself, don't forget to click that membership button that's down below. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and also your love live stream questions when I go live, my loves. And welcome back to the ones that are new here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell on your way out, my loves, all right? So that way you can be notified for when I do post your reading here on this platform every two days. I shake, all right? Source angels, ancestors, what do we have for the God and goddesses, source what do we have for the Divine Masculine, for the Divine Feminine? Definitely stick around. I'm going to use the Love Romance Angel deck here for you as well, Aries. And we'll finish up your reading here with a traditional tarot deck. I shake. All right. So let's see what source your angels and your ancestors have for you here for the month of April. And happy belated Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. All right. I hope you're enjoying your season, my loves, and taking care of yourself, Aries. Happy new cycle for you. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck here that we don't see coming? Looks like spirit wants to talk. We have several cards that jumped out here for you. All right, wow, we have a personal issue reaches resolution, Aries. Full moon in Count Syrian. All right, so some of you on this person may be a cancer sign or have cancer placements in their chart. Or you may need to rectify a situation here with the counselor sign. All right. But it says a personal issue that you may have came across or a particular personal situation that you have had here for quite some time, Aries. All right. It is going to reach resolution. OK, so there's going to be a solution for this issue here. OK, this is something that has come about once before with showing resolution here. So there's going to be another way to go about this situation here for you where it's going to become a resolution for you aries okay all right wow yes we have luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius aries okay some of y'all this person may be a sagittarius here or have sagittarius placements in their chart or you're needing to rectify a situation here as well with a Sagittarius Aries, okay? So just take it where it resonates. We're all grown and we all know our size shoes over here. I say, all right? So know that luck is on your side, I feel, when it comes to whatever this situation insists of here, all right? Everything is going to work out for your highest good, all right? What else comes out here? Yes, we have look at the bigger picture, Aries, okay? Full moon in Sagittarius once again. All right, wow, shout out to the Sagis, all right? Shout out to the Archers there, all right? So some of you all, this person may have heavy placements of Sagittarius in their chart, or this person may be a Sagittarius. You may have Sagittarius placements in your chart, Aries. Definitely comment down below if this person is a Sagittarius or has Sagittarius placements in their chart. But your angels and your ancestors again here, Aries want you to look at the situation from a different or bigger perspective here, okay? Don't just look at exactly what's in front of you. Think as far as towards the future when it comes to this situation. How will this situation affect you in the future here, okay? When it comes to a personal issue reaching resolution here, okay? So don't think small-minded about this situation. Make sure to look out in the future and see how you feel that this situation will play out for you, Aries, okay? All right, if that makes any sense for you, okay? Then we have last card, have faith in your dreams, Aries. 
So some of y'all, this is particular in regards to your dreams and what it is that you're wanting to manifest for yourself, okay? Don't give up, my loves. Keep going, all right? Mistakes are ways to allow us to evolve and become better versions of ourselves and get better at whatever this is we're wanting to manifest for ourselves, I say, all right? And others of you, this is in regards to a partnership that you've always dreamed about and your angels and your ancestors are wanting you to continue to have the faith and the courage here to know that anything is possible here when you put your mind to it, okay? So definitely in regards to your dreams, your passions, whatever this is as well that you wanted to manifest for yourself, know that everything and anything is possible for you to do, all right? Wow, powerful messages there for you, Aries, right out the gate there. Definitely, if so far the readings has resonated with your spirit and your higher self, again, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. Show spirit some love. Again, if you're new here, my love, subscribe. Be a part of family. This is where we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform, Aries. Wow. So let's shift the energies here, Aries. I want to see who's coming towards you in regards to love. Who's coming towards you when it comes to your love life here? Source, angels, ancestors. What should Aries expect here in the next two days in the month of April? What's currently going on in Aries love life? What do they need to be made aware of source angels ancestors of the highest light what do we have for the realms source angels ancestors what do the realms need to know when it comes to their love life source what's going on in realms love life what do we have for aries placement sun moon rising venus north and south node thank you Wow, we have playfulness here, Aries, okay? This card always seems to come out for your readings here, which is not surprising because this is the type of energy that you hold in harness as well, that youthful, that compassionate energy there, right? It says to recapture romance, Aries, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? There goes that re again because we got re-solution here and then we have recapture okay so some of y'all are literally needing to recapture your relationship some of y'all are may need to start over fresh when it comes to your relationship some of y'all may need to do over with your significant other do something different try a different approach take yourself out with your partner and go somewhere new do something new there's a situation here where that needs to be reviewed revised fuck all the re's okay Recompromise, whatever the case might be. I really feel like this is a situation where your guardian angels and your ancestors is requesting you to definitely use your discernment, follow your intuition when it comes to this particular situation here. Excuse me, a circumstance that's coming towards your way here in the month of April. Yes, we have it is safe for you to love again, Aries. Okay, open your heart to give and receive. The highest energy of all Aries, okay? Not just a little bit, but of all the energies here. Wow. All right. So I really feel like this is a situation here that some of y'all may have given up when it comes to your love life, or are you just not quite sure that this is something that you currently should be doing right now or communicating with this particular person? You may have concerns, as in, should I be dating this person right now? Should I move forward with this person right now? Is this person ready for me as much as I am ready for this person, okay? So this is how some of you all are feeling at this time here, okay? So definitely take time with observing the situation. Paying attention to this particular person's responses and how they respond to you, all right? Allow this person to have their space just as much as you so that way you two can come back together in a happy, healthy place, all right? But definitely look at the picture in a bigger perspective here, Okay, because there's again going to be a personal issue here that's going to reach resolution, I feel like, for this connection here as well. Wow, I'm not making this up. We have soulmate here at the bottom of the deck. So if some of you all was concerned in regards to this particular energy here and being your soulmate, there's definitely no accidents and no coincidences on how you clicked on this video. All right, yes, this is your soulmate, Aries, okay? If some of you all may was skeptical in regards to wanting to know, is this person someone that was your soulmate? Yes, this person was definitely your soulmate and meant for you to meet during this lifetime. 
Some of y'all have already met this person. Some of y'all have not met this person yet here, okay? Wow. So let's pull some cards out here. Wow. Immediately as I shuffled the deck, we already had cards jumped out here for you. So let's see what we have here in regards to just soulmate energy here. Wow. We have I'm not giving up. Wow, Aries, this person is very determined and are not giving up when it comes to this connection here. Wow, we have let me hit that spot. Well, 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 Aries, say it ain't so. Now, look, I wasn't the fly on the wall here, okay? But this person is also not only are they determined, Aries, but they're very attractive to you as well. All right, look, I wasn't the fly on the wall, but there's something you out there doing, okay? All right, because you really have this person definitely thinking about you, fantasizing about you. I would definitely not be surprised if this person has dreams about you as well, Aries, okay? What else, Source, what else do we have for Aries placements when it comes to their love life and this particular soulmate energy? What do Aries need to be made aware of when it comes to this soulmate energy here? And again, definitely stick around. I'm going to pull out the traditional tarot deck. So again, if the readings are resonating with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely again hit the notification bell so you're notified. I'm so excited to see what the energies here progress for you. What do we have come out here? I'm going to take it. Well, damn, they're not going to get permission yet first. Well, damn, Aries, they just going to come and snatch it, huh? You like that, don't you? They just going to come and snatch it. Mm, 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 mm. What do we have at the bottom of the deck here? I'm sorry, what come out here? Look, I'm already ready to get to the bottom of the deck. I'm still trying to pull out what just came out. We have, I always wanted you. Wow. So this person always, again, fantasized about you. This person always seen themselves with you, okay? This person has always, I feel like, watched you from your social media websites. So I feel like some of y'all may have even went to school with this person as you were growing up here. I'm picking up that energy here like that's from that childhood energy. So this is someone that you may didn't get to take as to another level here or get serious with your Aries. And now this person really wants to, you know, move forward with you in regards to a serious committed relationship here. And this person has always felt that they wanted you here, even in the past here. They always had this thing about you. Wow, I'm getting that song. I got a thing for you, baby, you know. Hey, fuck it up. So this person has always had a thing for you, okay? All right, let's get one more card here for Aries and their person and this soulmate energy source, angels. What else can we get from this soulmate energy here before we pull out the tarot deck? Wow, when are you coming back? So this person is wanting to know, Aries, when are you coming back? When are you coming back home? Some of y'all may have traveled, okay? You may be at a distance from this person here. You may be not communicating with this person here, all right? And this person is wanting to know, when are you coming back, okay? Some of y'all literally may have took a trip or you have removed yourself from this person's energy here, all right? And this person is wanting to know when you're going to come back so they can see you, Aries, okay? Don't do it to them like that, Aries, okay? Just look at the big picture, okay? All right, so let's move forward here. Let's finally pull out the traditional tarot deck, Aries. I want to see how this particular energy is feeling towards you. All right, I want to see what action does this person plan on taking here. Source angels, ancestors, what do Aries need to know in regards to this soulmate energy and this connection here in the month of April? Wow, powerful message here. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely hit the notification bell here, Aries. What a way to start your new cycle and your Earth Day shenanigans. Yes, my loves. Fuck it up, Aries. Source, what do we have for this particular energy here? What do Aries need to be made aware of when it comes to this particular energy here, Source? What do Aries need to be made aware of here, Source, Angels, Ancestors? Whoa, that's a lot of cards, but they want me to take them all. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Wow, we have the Ace of Swords here, air energy here, okay? Somehow this person could be an air sign here. We have Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy here, okay? But there's going to be some type of clarity or some type of truth here that's going to come in here for you as well, Aries, in the month of April here, all right? Some information that you may were searching or 
needing or wanting to know or needing to know this particular energy in regards to this particular person or this situation here. Yes, because we have the Eight of Swords here, okay? Again, more air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This talks about this particular energy being guilty, aware of their decisions that they have made here, all right? Very disappointed in themselves in regards to the decisions as well that they made here. So I feel like this particular energy here that's coming towards you for some of you all, not most of you all, where they felt like they knew that they were in the wrong when it comes to this relationship. And I feel like this person is wanting to help assist and fix the relationship. All right. Yes, we have the, well, I was going to say the Ace of Swords, but yes, we definitely have the Ace of Swords come out. So again, we have very heavy air energy here come out once again. So some of you all, again, this person may be an Aquarius here, a Gemini or a Libra here, Aries. Okay. But this person is being very defensive here as well. Okay. Some of you all, this person could have been very cold hearted when it comes to their emotions and their feelings. And just the way that they express themselves, you may didn't get that from this particular energy here. Or they may have been always standoffish when it comes to expressing themselves and how they feel towards you. And wow, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, Earth Energy, okay? Some of y'all, this person may be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. This talks about situations here where this could be a mother figure. Some of y'all may be a mother figure here or a father figure here, the king of pentacles here as well. But this talks about being well established here. So this is how this person sees you. All right, Aries. Okay, again, this could be an air sign here. All right, and they see you as someone very established, very well taken care of. Okay, very nurturing here as well. All right, yes, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Again, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. All right, I feel like you all are being very focused when it comes to your finances and your career or whatever this is that you do on a daily routine here. Okay, wow, yes. Then we have the Hard Fun here. This talks about learning spiritual lessons here. All right, evolving here. Okay, and getting a new perspective when it comes to life because of simply the situations and circumstances you have experienced here yourself. Some of y'all, this person is determined here because they want commitment with you. Some of y'all, this is someone who you were in a committed relationship with here or a spouse here or a significant other here. All right. Wow. And then we have the star card here again aquarius energy coming out here this card talks about healing all right so this person here is in the process i feel like of healing or is needing to heal from this particular situation here yes we have the chariot card here count Siren energy here comes out again here all right so again this is understanding the duality of things okay balancing out your masculine and your feminine energy here and moving forward, like I said, some of y'all literally may have moved forward from this particular energy here. I feel like some of y'all is not even focused when it comes to this particular person here or this, whoever this energy is from your past here. All right, you've been focusing in and working on your craft here, working on whatever particular project here that you've been focusing yourself back on here as well. I feel like this energy here is wanting to come back towards you here. Okay, yes, we have the Emperor here, Divine Masculine here, okay? So this is in regards to some of you are divine feminine in regards to your masculine energy here. All right. This person could have been very controlling here when it comes to the relationship as well here. Yes, we have the six of pentacles here. Some of you this person may have placed you in a third party here, Aries. Okay. This person could have even breadcrumbed you. All right. We're showing three of pentacles coming down on this side. And then we only have two pentacles coming down on this side. Okay. So again, this person could have breadcrumbed you here wasn't given given even take here when it comes to this relationship all right yes because we have the two of ones here so i feel like you all aries is choosing to make a decision here to move forward here all right when it comes to this particular energy here or this emperor here all right you're no longer wanting to involve or invest yourself when it comes to this particular relationship here Let's finish up your reading here with the Truth Hidden Oracle deck. Let's see how your person feels in regards to this situation here. I'm picking up more past energy here, but I also, again, have this soulmate that's trying to come in here as well for you, okay? So 
source what do we have for aries how did this particular energy feel towards aries here thank you wow we have i am becoming a better person aries wow so this person is becoming a better person they may be you know taking more longer than what you thought here okay but this person is definitely truly working on themselves and trying to get themselves together when it comes to their thought emotions and you know ways of thinking here Okay, I really feel like this person, again, is trying to see things from a different perspective and looking at the bigger picture here as well. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck here? Yes, you were the best thing in my life, Aries, okay? So, again, this person felt like you were the best thing in their life. You made a big, very big impact, I feel here, um, Aries, on this person's life here. Wow, Aries. So, this has completed your love reading here. Again, I hope the reading has resonated with who it needs to resonate with. And if so, don't forget to like, subscribe. Definitely hit the notification bell, my loves, if you're new here. So that way you're notified here every two days when I post your reading here on this platform. All right. And I am now available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me in regards to your love life. All right. All that information is down below in the description box, Aries. You take care. Bye-bye.